visit to Endedalesbury, where a group of bungalows was built using V5s for all external walls above damp-proof courts. A cavity wall of solid brick was built up to damp-proof courts, and V5 bricks were laid on this so as to continue the cavity. The bricklayers had not previously used the V5, but found little difficulty in laying the two strips of mortar needed. They were asked to use the mortar tray, and after a little practice, agreed that it made mortar spreading easier and quicker. Progress was rapid on straightforward lengths of wall, with one man spreading the mortar and another laying the bricks. About 20% less mortar was used than would be required to build an ordinary two-leaf cavity wall, and, of course, there were no wall ties. Corners were easily built using the special corner bricks. This is designed to enable the cavity to continue round the corner. The corner brick and the half brick are the only specials needed. The half brick is essential but the corner brick may be replaced by a king closer, cut from a facing brick. Windows and doors were spaced at brick dimensions, using half bricks to complete the reveal. The bricklayers did not have to stop to cut the bricks, and time and materials were saved. This careful planning of walls and openings to brick dimensions is desirable with ordinary bricks, to avoid wasteful cutting. But with V5 bricks, it is essential, since with them, cutting to size would be even more wasteful. The bricks used for the back wall were four and an eighth inches high, giving a course height of four and a half inches instead of three inches for the front and end wall. Two courses of the larger bricks bonded with three of the smaller. This was done as an experiment to find out whether laying a larger and heavier brick presented any difficulty, and whether the height-to-length ratio gave a joint pattern that was satisfactory in appearance. No difficulty was experienced in laying, and the extra height of the brick resulted in a faster rate of building. But whether the appearance is as attractive as that of a wall with three-inch courses is a matter of opinion. Very little cutting was needed at the gable end. The corners of the bricks were allowed to project into the space between the tiles and asbestos cement soffit panels nailed beneath the rafters. Cutting chases for conduits was easier and quicker than with solid bricks, since it was only necessary to cut through into the first row of perforation. This group of bungalows is the first building to be constructed with the new bricks. No difficulties were experienced, and both architect and builder were satisfied with the results. The builder said that the external walls were built in about 30% less time than that required for two-leaf cavity construction. The appearance of the brickwork was at least as good as in the adjacent bungalows built of ordinary solid bricks. 